Hi, I'm Christian Brindle, and welcome to the Everything Medicare Podcast. What's up, everything, Medicare, Podcast Nation? This is Christian Brindle. Hope this finds you doing well wherever you are and however you might be listening to us today. Thank you for taking some time out of your Monday. And I'm recording this to you away from our typical little background. Um, I'm out of town. This is being recorded over the weekend. So I appreciate your patience and understanding as we always do these episodes at least a day or two before they actually come out to you. So I didn't have time to do it before we went out of town. Went out of town with the fam, wife, daughter, um, and just wanted to get away for the weekend. And But I had to make sure that I was not cheating you, my audience, on my obligation to bring you some unbelievable, unmatched Medicare content every single week, three times a week. So there's something that needs to be understood, folks, in the world of Medicare. In the world of Medicare... There are different types of products that are regulated and overseen by the federal government. And then there are different types of products that are overseen by the state government. Now, this very much has to do with kind of the rules, the regulations, kind of how things are going to be perceived and and also how things are going to necessarily work. Today, I'm going to be talking with you about what's known as the Medicare Supplement Birthday Rule. I never hear anybody talk about this, and probably because it's not a very well-known topic of discussion. One thing we have to keep in mind is Medicare Advantage plans and Medicare Part D prescription drug plans are overseen by the federal government. What do we know about the federal government? Anything that's overseen by the federal government, it has excess of laws. It has excess of rules, regulations, all different kinds of things. Medicare Advantage is a very, very wide example of this. There's so many rules. There's so many regulations. There's so many hoops that the insurance companies, us as agents and brokers, um, and everybody that's involved with this types of programs need to abide by. Okay. However, it also is true that this falls into line with Medicare Part D prescription drug plans as well. Now, Medigaps, Medicare supplement plans, are overseen and regulated by the state government, which means we do have some states that do things a little differently with some of their rules and regulations than others. I'll give you an example of this. We did an episode a little while back about Mississippi Medic. Uh, actually, was it Mississippi? No, it was Minnesota, excuse me. Minnesota Medicare supplement plans and how they offer Medicare supplements that you can't get anywhere else. Um, This is because the state of Minnesota is specifically putting out um, rules and regulations and ways of doing things that are unique to them, that is not regulated through all the rest of the state. So what do we know about Medicare supplements as a whole? Well, What we know is Medicare supplements basically give you a new to Medicare window when you first turn 65, three months before, the month of, and three months after. In fact, a lot of Medicare supplement plans will actually let you apply up to six months before the month you turn 65. So those are the time periods in most situations that you're going to be able to get a Medicare supplement plan without any type of health questions. It's a straight shot. Whatever insurance company you want to get with, whatever product or plan that insurance company has that you'd like to pick up, you're going to be able to do so without health questions. Now, let's say you start on a Medicare Advantage plan when you turn 65, and three years later, your health kind of goes in a different direction, and you want to switch over to a Medicare supplement. At that point, you're outside of that new to Medicare window, at which point um, you're going to have to go through health questions in order to get that Medicare supplement policy, okay? Now, there are some outliers to this. There are some situations where this does not necessarily always apply, such as guaranteed issue is a good example of that. Guaranteed issue is basically where um, somebody is canceled off of 
a group plan, a Medicare Advantage plan might be pulling out of their market, whatever the situation might be, and they might not be necessarily new to Medicare. However, they still might be able to get certain Medicare supplement and Medigap products with every insurance company without any health questions in a situation like that. So there are some exceptions, but this is typically national, not on a state-by-state -state basis. Now, there, are, there is something called the birthday rule that exists in certain states that is an exception to this rule as well, but it's only in certain areas. Let me take a break. Let's hear from our sponsor. I'll be right back and I'll tell you exactly what this birthday rule is, where it applies, and what it has to deal with. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks so much for sticking with me through that break. Of course, today we're talking about the birthday rule. What is the birthday rule? Well, as defined on Medicare's website, uh, medicare.gov, in California and Oregon specifically, there is a birthday rule. Now, these are specifically only in these states, but there are some similar programs in some other states I'll mention in a second. During the 30 days after your birthday each year, you can switch from a Medigap plan to another Medigap plan of equal or lesser benefits without underwriting. What this means is it has to be a plan that's equal to or lesser benefits. So for example, if someone has a plan G, they can go for either from a plan G to another G or a plan G to a plan N or something like that. However, they cannot, and I repeat, cannot do a plan G to a plan F if they qualify for a plan F, for example. So there's an example because the plan F is technically considered greater coverage than the G because it doesn't charge the $198 Medicare Part B deductible in 2020. So there's an example of this. These are, in, again, in the states of California and or Oregon, the birthday rule, 30 days after your birthday each year. However, you can also, you can also make this change according to another article 30 days leading up to your birthday. So you have 61 days to exercise the California birthday rule, but in Oregon, it's just 30 days, I believe. Now, also, in Washington, it appears to me that there is a Medicare supplement to Medicare supplement guaranteed issue all year round. Now, there are certain qualifications to that, I believe, um, which we can talk about in a future episode. In Missouri, however, there's a Medicare supplement to Medicare supplement guaranteed issue on the anniversary date of the policy. So if you signed up, let's say in November, every November, you're going to be able to change to an, another Medicare supplement policy without any underwriting. So there are examples to where you can get Medicare supplement policy changes if even if you don't qualify for that insurance company's health questionnaire or underwriting. Now, of course, with all of these situations, you have to have another Medicare supplement policy first. You can't have a Medicare Advantage plan and then go to Medicare supplement. So this is something that's very, very interesting. And I thought it was something that would be just a great topic to kind of bring you and talk about in the form of a podcast episode. Now, of course, this episode is going to be shorter than most of our episodes have been. So I appreciate your patience on that. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick reminder. Very, very soon here, we're, we're planning on applying for a license to get a license in the state of California, so we'll be able to service people in California coming very soon. That will take some time to process. It's not going to happen overnight, so I appreciate your patience. To anybody that's listening to us from California that may want to work with Christian Brindle Insurance Services on their Medicare health plan. As always, if you have a Medicare supplement plan, or maybe you have another type of Medicare health Medicare health plan, or maybe you're just aging in and turning 65 and you're just not sure what to do, or you're not sure if your current plan is the best thing for you, my office can give you a free, no obligation consultation, a free quote, a free idea. You can talk to me personally. Our office number is 801-255-5340. Again, that's 801-255-5340. We're licensed to do business in the states of Utah, Idaho, Colorado, Oregon, Texas, South Carolina, and Florida. Again, that's Utah, Colorado, Idaho, Oregon, Texas, South Carolina, and Florida. I apologize that this episode is much, much shorter than our typically scheduled program, but I'm here with the family. We're off away for the weekend. 
It's hard for me to bring you a regular scheduled program when the family's here. I appreciate your patience. We love every single person that listens to us. We'll have a regular scheduled program for you on Wednesday. Take care. Have a great Monday.